is how we slide. Mmm. Mmm. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad, it's, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Today's video, you guys, I want to chit chat with you. you know what I'm talking about probably give you some story times. I don't really know what it's gonna be. I just woke up this morning and started recording. This video is mainly gonna be about my Cali trip because. I didn't vlog like I planned on doing. Reason being, okay, before I even get into all this explaining shit and showing you clips and showing you what I do have from the trip, please make sure you are subscribed to my channels. <laughs> make sure you give this video a like, comment, your love, questions, feedback down below in the comment section. Make sure you share this video and follow me on all of my social media, you guys. Now, I went to Cali. Some of y'all are like, why you didn't tell me? I did tell y'all I was going to Cali. Y'all ain't give a fuck. Y'all want to like, oh, Jay, pull up on me. Oh, let's meet up. Do a meet and greet. I even invited some of y'all to the pool party. You ain't want to come. So now, it's not fuck you, but fuck it. Yeah, I went to Cali from August the 19th through the 22nd. First of all, when I was packing, I was like, yo, I'm not bringing that laptop because I kind of sort of just wanted to just be on vacation. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to just be on vacation, just chill out. I didn't want to work. I was getting paid. Why not at work? And I didn't want to work. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to bring the laptop, but I will bring the camera, right? And I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm going to vlog everything, everything, you know, the flight, the airport, landing, all that good shit. I didn't do that. I didn't do that because I really wanted this trip to be a vacation. When I, when I say that, I mean that. So the reason why I was even in Cali is because it was my older sister's birthday. And it was her best friend's birthday as well. So it was nine. Y'all, this shit was going to be so lit. It was nine, I mean shit was lit. <laughs> it was nine people that went in a total, including myself. Everybody should have had a good time. I had a hell of a good time. I don't give a fuck. I recorded the takeoff a few times. I drove to Atlanta, got to Chicago, then went from Chicago to Cali. And then coming back home, I went from Cali to Arizona to Arizona back to Atlanta. So I picked up my camera one time when I got to Cali. One time. And this one was already in the Airbnb and I was sitting on the bed. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I was like, maybe today would be different because you know when you travel, that actual day I never counted as the a day of vacation. You know what I'm saying? Because you still you just trying to get your life. Like the flights be stressing you out, especially when you got connecting flights, it stresses you out. And then when you get to where you're going, gotta get your bag. Y'all, my fucking suitcase. I gotta get a new suitcase. Because I didn't really pack smart this trip. I really packed like two days, if not the day before, it was time for me to actually drive it to Atlanta. So I didn't even pack in advance. So I kind of just like bum rush everything in my suitcase and I was like you know I, I rather have it than not to not have it you know what I mean so when it came to like my body wash my feminine wash I put it in the front of my suitcase and something was telling me you know what I'm saying to tape it tape it down tape it around because it's gonna pop open right I was like nah I don't, I don't feel like doing that so guess what when I got my suitcase my shit was busted but luckily, I had none of my clothes in there. I mean, it didn't really get on anything. I'm in the bathroom cleaning out my suitcase. I mean, my suitcase smells great. It smells like pink, pink salt, whatever that body wash is that I had. I spent like literally 30 to 45 minutes in the bathroom cleaning out my suitcase using hella paper towels. I know the janitor was mad as fuck at me. And I know she was mad because she had a big ass new roll of paper towels sitting on her cart. And I'm just using that bitch, using that bitch, using that bitch, right? I turn around and shit gone. I said, oh, she must be upset. Getting the rentals um, took up most of the day, too. <laughs> you know, but after everybody got situated, you know, we went to go get something to eat. Y'all, I can't even remember where the fuck we pulled up at. It's some chicken spot. 
Oh my gosh. Sandwiches this fucking, this fucking big. I, sh I, I know. I know. I ain't even Instagram it. I was so hungry. I was so fucking hungry. I ain't even, I didn't even Instagram it, record it, none of that shit. I just ate, okay? And I fucked around and got, I think I got medium. They had got hot. I don't know why she did that shit because they shit already is spicy. They, her shit was so fucking hot, she tried to get a new order to replace it. They want to replace the shit. They was like, we'll just give you some, you know, extra tenders on the side, regular. But her mouth is on fire, but she ain't no pussy, so she ate that shit. And, um, yes, yeah, so after we ate, went to the Airbnb, you know what I'm saying? Shit was lit. Had a pool at the Airbnb. I know. I ain't even... Shit. I hope my story times do the justice for you. But honestly, you guys, I think after that first day and then like going into the second day and just, you know, peeping shit out, I was like, yo, I really just want this to be a vacation time. I really just want to spend time with my family because it was my sister, my cousin, uh, Bay came with me. It was me, my sister, best friend, you know what I'm saying, her nigga, and her homeboy. Her homeboy, sister, who, I don't know. And then, <laughs> and then like I said, it was my, did I just name fucking ten people? I thought I said it was nine. Maybe it was ten. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. So, I think the second night, I decided to... Uh, well, the second morning, I said, you know what, let me cook Let me cook breakfast for my people. So, me and Shorty went to Walmart and racked up on, you know, breakfast foods and cookout food because we were going for both. want to have a cookout at the pool. Come on now. Y'all, I get to the checkout. About to swap the EBT card. And this slut tells me 10 cents a bag. I said, what? What? I said, she said, do y'all want bags or you just gonna carry it out? How are we gonna carry out $200 worth of food in our arms? You got employees that's gonna come help us? Y'all, she said, it's 10 cents a bag. Yeah, we charge for bags. Oh my gosh. I, if I would've known that, I would've took my suitcase. Threw everything in the suitcase. Yeah, I might've just walked the fuck out. With everything in my suitcase. No, I wouldn't have stole it. No, I want, I'm not a thief. I don't know what you want to call it, but I'm not a thief, okay? So I went to the dispensary. I already knew, like, I, I I wasn't really there for the whole smoking experience. I wanted some alcohol immediately, tequila me the fuck down, okay? And I didn't want a Patron because Patron weak as fuck. And I didn't want... Definitely didn't want no Jose Cuevo. That shit been weak. I wanted some new shit. I want to get fucked. Up. And I did that. I did that on the, not the last night, but the night before the last night. Y'all, I was so turned the fuck up. I, what was I drinking? Uh, I don't know. Babe went to the store and got some new tequila, some shit. I ain't never seen in my, my life. And then my turned up ass was like, ooh, give me some patrol. So, the, the birthday girl. She drowns me, y'all. Drowns me a Patron. When I say drown, like, she gave me so much, I couldn't swallow it. I That shit fucked me up. Because I don't know how many minutes later, I was in the room slumped. Slumped as shit. I ain't throw up, though, but I was slumped. And then they getting ready for the club, right? They like, Jadea, no, no, don't go down like that. Get up. You gotta get up. I'm like, mm, mm. Mm, like that, right? <laughs> but I finally get up. Babe brought me some food because that's the night we had a cookout. So she brought me a plate of food. Y'all, that motherfucking barbecue chicken was so fucking good. When I bit it, I bit like a whole piece of meat and I swallowed that bitch. And then it got stuck in my motherfucking esophagus and I choked. I ain't never choked on no chicken before. So I choked, y'all. I thought I was gonna die. I had to sit the fuck up. I had to get that bitch out of there. It got out. I think that was so me up too. I think that was so me up too. 
So that night we went to some club. And when I think of LA clubs, I think of stairs. I think of one floor, two floor, three floor. And I'm pretty sure they got clubs like that, right? I think of just all these lights and girls from the, hanging from the ceilings and, you know, titties and ass everywhere. And that, that was not the motherfucking case. It was more niggas in that bitch than anything. And, oh, people are just so fucking rude. I got into it with this motherfucker in the club because my sister drunk. I don't know if she was drunk or how. Probably both of them. Okay? And whatever happened, I think the dude stepped on her toe. I think she was talking to them respectfully, and I think they were apologizing. But then my sister hugs them, and it threw me off. I said, ah! Cause I'm thinking of Corona. I'm like, ah, uh -uh. don't hug nobody. And the motherfucker try to get in my face, and I was like, you don't get the fuck up out of my face. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have a whole game fighting in the club. No lie, because of me still having Patron in my system. But it was a cool night, you know what I'm saying. All in all, you guys, um. Uh, Cali is expensive. All in all, Cali is expensive. Oh, we went ATV riding. Man, I don't know what company that is, but I just want to go on their website and leave them a review because they babysitted the fuck out of us. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to get muddy. I'm thinking of mud splashing everywhere. Been driving. We switch. I'm driving. My sister, tip it over. She's safe though, but she tipped it over. I'm thinking of all this crazy wild shit that can happen in an ATV ride. And that mother, we we like a fucking choo choo train, six feet behind each other. Can't do no zigzagging. If he to the left, we can't be to the right. I made the best of my situation. You know what I'm saying? Got to. You gotta make the best of the situation. So, I had fun as fuck. I had fun as fuck. I don't even know if that's a complete sentence. But, you know, the instructor, she don't really speak good English, or maybe she has a really strong accent, right? So I had my little my little hookah pen when I walked up and I don't know what she said. I don't know what she said. But what she was trying to tell me was I could not vape. Okay, I don't know what she said. But whatever she did say, I was like, okay. And then I went back to hit the pen and everybody was like, she did, she just said you can't smoke that. I said, oh shit, I didn't know what she said. I just said, okay. And I have a problem with doing that, of, you know, thinking I hear stuff. But anywho, you guys, um, I know, like I said, I picked up the camera one time. One time, one time, one time. And I'm going to roll that clip, and I'm going to roll some other clips as well. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And I just want to say, you guys, I know I've been missing, and I do miss you guys. And I hope that you guys miss me. And um, it's okay to take breaks i'm not really going to go into anything deep to explain myself because you know what i'm saying all the time that i was away is gone and i'll come back i can only just you know what i'm saying do better for now in the future and maybe one day i explain but today is not that day i just know that everything that i'm doing is for a reason and a purpose and yeah i just know i'm not explaining that i don't feel like explaining that day not to explain so i'm about to roll these clips I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please watch this video from beginning to the end. Give this video a like. Comment your love, feedback, question down below. Alright? I definitely got to go revisit Cali. I got to go back. I definitely got to go back. Cali, I can definitely go back too. But I also want to, you know what I'm saying, visit Arizona. Because when I was at the airport, oh my god. I don't know what I was looking at from the airport. But it was just beautiful. and I, It just made me want to go hiking. I don't know. Y'all in Arizona? Anywho, uh, yeah, make sure you follow my social media, you guys, and be blessed, okay? Be safe, stay clean, because the coronavirus, I don't know where the fuck the coronavirus at. I don't even want to talk about the damn coronavirus by this time. By this time, the corona was basically America's infected baby, right? It was, it was America's infected baby. And we just, it's like we babysitting the damn baby. I ain't trying to babysit the damn baby. I'm like, I ain't gonna say that. I'ma just, I'ma just roll the clips. <laughs> Okay.
left is designed to look like it's on or near the floor. No, it's not. It's just to move great stress. We started yesterday. Why y'all pulling on masks? In the event of an evacuation, escape path lighting will appear. The airline said keep your mask on at all times. Like this. Head quickly and safely to the nearest exit. Y'all had to hear me. And if y'all couldn't hear me, y'all had to see my lips. So now you just see my eyes. Now, if the airplane loses pressure, oxygen masks will drop automatically. While remaining seated with your seatbelt fastened, grab the closest mask and pull down. The yellow cup goes over your nose and mouth like so. And slip a band over your head and tighten by pulling the straps on either side. What's good, clown squad? That's not what I said. Even if the plastic bag doesn't inflate, oxygen is falling. What's going on, J-Squad? And the last batch here, J-Squad, we know what the fuck going on. Before helping out. Dream B. Who are you, E? Welcome back to Jay. 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 Welcome back to Jay.
it was just like kind of like a hassle you know to get a rental car to figure shit out because oh my god la airport is huge and it's just a lot of stuff going on right so like what we do the first day oh yeah i had to go to the liquor store went to the dispensary and uh went to the dispensary first and then went to the liquor store then we came to the airbnb right and then uh you know had a wash shower get ready to go and bring my sister's birthday in because her birthday was yesterday Yes, thank you so much for wishing her happy birthday. I lost two nails. This one broke in Charlotte. These two. We ain't gonna talk about it. Um, so yeah, that was that was that day. And so then yesterday, um, went out and I really should have recorded this because went out, got some breakfast food and got some cookout food, cookout that we're having today. I had came back, made breakfast for nine heads, y'all. Nine. I just felt like, oh my God. Is this what, you know, everybody grandma be going through trying to feed the whole family? That shit is tiring. Tiring as fuck. So I made a big ass breakfast. Had um, bacon for the bacon eaters. Had some turkey links, turkey patties. Had some uh, diced potatoes. Had uh, some, I made, you know, French toast, cinnamon French toast. And, uh, you know, eggs with cheese. Uh, I had like a fruit bowl, you know, that I cut up. I cut it. It was like in slices. I just cut them up in blocks. But yeah, then after that, at the breakfast, what we do? I just got a vibe at your crib, and you gonna decide when we get blown. I don't wanna strive, I'm too late. I just cut a five and choke her. All I wanna do is get you blown. I don't wanna try my too late. I just wanna five and two blown. Bitch, I'm like a chat like a feel nigga. How the fuck you real nigga? You still a nigga. Oh, yeah, we went to the beach. We went down to the beach, you know what I'm saying? I got real sandy. Real sandy. I got down and dirty. Real dirty. But I'm going to get even dirtier today. So, yeah. Uh, after the beach, no, came back. Got ready for the dinner. Trying to go to dinner. Well, we did go to dinner, but the dinner that we had went to in the first place wouldn't let us in i mean they let us in but they wouldn't let us sit they they said it was reservations only but that shit didn't make no sense but anywho um this camera is heavy what you doing? oh this what you doing and so um yeah i really haven't really been recording because if i record i'm gonna get copyrighted this whole vlog will be copyrighted and so i just figured you know i'll just just tell you worry about mouth what's been going on because you still wouldn't know what was going on even if i showed you but today we're going atv ride it and you i'm still not vlogging you gotta vlog more because the people need to see and the people shall get what they want it's a whole lot of gang shit no it's not
So yeah, we're going ATV riding and then I really don't know what's going to happen tonight. But I just want to let you guys know that I'm here. been having a great fucking time. Um, I have not been as drunk as I plan to be. And they would not take me to the liquor store and, me get, and let me go get another bottle. I asked her last night, can I go get another bottle? She did not take me. We're going. That cost me go shit weak as fuck. I don't know how y'all weak ass whores be getting drunk. <laughs> Be getting drunk off that shit because that shit is weak as fuck. Y'all be like, oh, Casamigos made me. No, it don't. It really don't. Patron don't do shit. Henny don't do shit. And at this point, what am I supposed to drink? ATP. What's that? At this point. <laughs> at this point. ATP. Why are you recording me? So yeah, you guys, um, that's really just what I wanted to say. That's how we slide. That's how we slide. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my breath smell like ass. Uh -huh. I'm a different breed, it catch you slipping, best belief, I don't need no reason I'ma cut the ties, ho, turn your wife to my hoe Just focus on you, baby girl <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on And I'm out this bitch